Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. As you can tell by the title, it's another bookstore vlog and like a come book shopping with me and a huge collective book haul at the end. So make sure you stay tuned to the end because it's the best part. We're gonna talk about all the recent books I bought and I'm gonna show you guys like a little clothing haul because there's something about going to the bookstore to me that's like the definition of a self-care day. I literally took a half day from work today. I just finished, it's 12 o'clock, and I'm gonna get all dressed up. I'm gonna grab a nice oat milk latte and we're gonna go browsing some bookstores and that is truly the epitome of self-care to me and I'm so excited to take you guys along. I want to say a huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. They sent me some super cute pieces that would just make the perfect like bookstore date outfit, whether you're taking yourself on a date, whether you're going on a date with your man or your girl. Like, I just think these outfits are like the epitome of bookstore cute, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. I to remind you guys that Princess Polly ships from within the US. Also offer free express shipping if you're in the US on your order over $50, which is such a great deal. I feel like Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all their US customers. And yeah, I'm also drinking a tea, who am I? It's because I wanna get a coffee later on. But I figured we could sip on a cozy little tea together and I'll show you guys all the pieces that I got and how I would style them for like a little bookstore adventure. Also gonna put the name of the item and the size in the corner for you guys and obviously everything will be linked down below. If you, if you guys are interested in any of these pieces, you can use the code Carter to get some money off on your order and let's jump into it because I'm so excited. I've been wearing these pieces for days, I am obsessed with them. Okay, so this is the first outfit. This is definitely like a once you're back from the bookstore, you have a new book to read, you're gonna cozy up on the couch. You guys have probably seen me wear this outfit in the last few of my vlogs because I'm obsessed. These are the Florida short and gray. You can obviously turn them over if you need to and just wear them like that if you want them a little shorter, but I like them pretty high-waisted, so I just leave them unrolled. And this, of course, speaks for itself. It's the New York crew neck sweatshirt in gray, which you guys know I'm obsessed with because we went to New York City in December. This is just like the coziest little winter outfit. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I hate wearing pants. Like when I'm lounging, I just get so warm under a blanket. So this is like the perfect little combo. And you know, it's like a little like, I'm gonna go read a book on the couch vibe. I'm, I'm just here for it. Hardest time finding jeans. I'm tall, I'm mid-size. Like it's just, it's just hard. I'm, it's just, it's hard, okay? These jeans from Princess Polly, I was a little skeptical because I was like, ugh. These are my new favorite jeans and I've already bought more pairs with my own discount code, like no shame. So these are the St. Augustine jeans. I got these in my normal size eight and they fit true to size and I'm obsessed. They're like a super nice light wash, no cuts or rips. I'm just like not into that. And they're like a nice straight leg. I'm very much a skinny jean gal. So this is like a nice way to transition into the straight leg because it's still kind of a bit skinny. So these are the jeans. I'm super obsessed with them. Like they fit so well. They're so comfy i can't get over how comfy they are and like i said they're still a little bit of like a more narrow straight leg which is nice for someone like me who's very much still into skinny jeans but i really love them and they go with so much and i just think they're super flattering they're really nice and high-waisted and i really really love them i might have been able to size down but yeah i'm just I'm obsessed with them. The Kiara shirt in beige, which I love. This just like screams with a tote bag. Like I am a cute, classy, modern gal who's book shopping for some good romance reads. Like I'm just, I'm just really vibing with this outfit to be honest. It's a little cold today to wear, but I think this is great. It has like a really cute work shirt, but also you can dress up to be like going out and running errands, which is what I love. I love versatility. So I'm obsessed with this shirt. So cute. And this is what it looks like, like untucked. Oh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. Who's proud of me for going outside of my comfort zone with this shirt? I love this color. I love the style of the shirt. Once again, so cute for work, but so cute to also just like wear out book shopping, hang out with friends, whatever you want. I love, love, love the design. I love that it's like a little bit of a mock neck. I love the sleeves. Oh, I just love the color. I think crop trick lately too, so I think it looks really good cropped as well. The inner bloom oversized sweater in dark green. Oh yeah, this is cute. Little date night, little action. I'm obsessed. This shirt has my whole heart. You guys know I'm a neutrals gal. Looking for a nice basic black lightweight turtleneck that's a bit cropped, and I am obsessed. It's actually what I'm gonna wear today, and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna style it, but. I love it. It's super lightweight. I hate when turtlenecks are like super thick. So this is really, really great, especially if you're wearing it with like a heavy winter jacket. It is the Zahara cropped turtleneck sweater in black. They have other colors as well. And I'm just 
I'm so in love with it. And then last product that I got was this beautiful purse, which you guys have already seen in vlogs because I'm obsessed with it. I am just so into like the fake Crocs. So this is the is the Pita and Jane Lissy Black Croc. I love it. There's so many compartments in it. I think I'm going to do an updated what's my purse video soon, but I love it. Perfect if you know you're running errands and stuff. And yeah, I just love the look of this together. I think it's so trendy, modern with some little black booties. And I'm going to throw over a little lightweight jacket. I love the way that this looks. Like I'm just obsessed. So I'm going to head out to the bookstores. We're going to obviously go together. We're going to grab a coffee. I want to say a huge thank you once again to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, you guys can use code Carter to save money at checkout. I'll have everything linked down below as well as the sizes that I got. In it. And let's go buy some books. and I wanted to show you guys that sometimes you can get like really good books here like for example the Apollo murders let's see how much it is $16 they even have homebody by Joanna Gaines $29 you can get some really good books here if you like take the time to look they have where the crawdads sing really good book Let's see, like they have so many good books. The Midnight Library, wow, they must have gotten a new shipment in because there's a ton of really good books. $14. I've heard this book is really good. I just don't know if it's my vibe. Wow, I'm really shocked. So yeah, I feel like no one ever thinks of winners or marshals, but come check them out. Also a really good book. I love Anthony Bourdain. This book looks really good. The Girl Behind the Wall by Mandy Robotham. Read all her other books and they're amazing. Literally, so much good stuff here today. I'm shocked. Matt and I also love collecting these older, like, or classic books, but they're, like, pretty. We have a whole collection of these. Unique books here. They're also great coffee table books. Walmart, because a lot of you guys had no idea that you could get books, like, discounted. At least in Canada, you can. Like, look, 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 look at all the good books. Great book. Also a good book. Like so many good reads. Lisa Jewell. Some of them aren't discounted, but a lot of them are. That's a good book. Like so many new reads. I literally <laughs> just bought this on my Kindle. Like so many great reads. Also a really great book. So if you're in the market and you're at Walmart getting groceries, just come and check out the book selection. Cause this about this looks really good. Anyways, so I just wanted to share that with you guys while I was here is that you can get 30% off your books. Like that's such a great freaking discount, you guys. So check it out. It would be so easy to kill three hours before this training, but it's only 2.20 and I have an hour and a half to kill. But um, you guys saw we just went to Black Squirrel, we went to Marshalls, and then we went to Walmart. I wanted to include those because I feel like people don't think to look for books there, but like I said, Walmart has really great deals on new releases and they update it all the time. Black Squirrel is like my favorite used bookstore in Ottawa, mainly because you can get a coffee there and it's just the vibes there are so like dreamy bookstore. I love it in there. It's really hard to vlog and like talk in there though just because it is a really small bookstore. Like it's just one big room and it was pretty popping and we have like a 50% capacity limit so I don't want to be rude and like just stay there forever just because I'm vlogging. But I don't know how I should do this. If I should show you guys the books I get today now and then I'm going to film the book haul portion probably tomorrow just because I'm going to be at training until six and the books aren't coming until tomorrow anyways that I ordered. Um, I ordered from Book Outlet which is a used bookstore in Ontario and I got wicked deals. I can't wait to show you guys. So I think I'll show you guys these books now but also I just want to say 
not that I have to justify my book purchases, but a lot of people have been commenting me and like, why do you spend your money on books? And like, if that's what brings me joy, that's what brings me joy, you know? I don't judge people who like get all their makeup at Sephora, even though I enjoy drugstore makeup, you know what I mean? So I just w don't think people should judge what you like to spend your money on, you know what I mean? Like, you guys know I'm not really one to like spend money on clothes on myself, so if reading books brings me joy, let it be. And, um... Yeah, so, well, I also got some smart sweets at Walmart because I was kind of hungry. I need to go pick up lunch somewhere, which is not like me, but. Okay, so far I got some really great deals. So, at Marshall's, I got Normal People by Sally Rooney, which I've been wanting to read. Um, it's just, it's most books I feel like I have to read, and it was $12.99. I actually had a gift card because I went to go return something that I didn't have the receipt for, so I kind of was like, well, I'm not really paying, I mean, I'm paying for it because I paid off my credit card, but you know what I mean? So I'm really excited to read this, and then yeah, I'll show you guys the other books I have at home, like when we get home. And then at Black Squirrel, I picked up two books, but the two books that I got, I got of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. Really excited. I was reading a lot of like um, Goodread articles and forums about similar books to Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because that was just like up my alley. I love historical fiction and like romance and like the glitz and the glamour. And this got like really comparable reviews. So I'm so excited to read this. The back of it, I'm not gonna read the whole back, but I guess I can pause it if you guys wanna read it. I'll just like let you guys read that if you want to like pause it. But I'll read you guys the little blurb. It says, a rollicking novel of glamour, sex, and adventure set in the 1940s in New York. It just sounds amazing. And then I got this one, which I'm excited to read. It's actually been on my TBR for a little bit, and it is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. It just sounds like a bit of a different suburban thriller. I love different thrillers compared to like the wife or husband killed someone, blah, blah, blah. Those are still good. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to read it, but... This just sounded really unique. And this is by Alyssa Cole, like I said. And it basically, here, I'll let you guys screenshot that if you wanna read it. But it basically is about this girl who lives in a Brooklyn neighborhood and they're all being, all the apartments are being torn down by condos. And she's like trying to figure out why everyone's leaving. And it just says like, when does con coincidence become conspiracy? Where do people go when gentrification pushes them out? Can they trust each other or themselves long enough to find out before they too disappear? So it kind of sounds like the history of like the Brooklyn neighborhood they live in, like there's some kind of weird stuff going on. So I'm excited. Like I said, it sounds a bit different than like the normal suburban thriller. So once again, you can find really good reads used in stuff. And um, I'm really, really excited about all the books I found so far. I have just been like really on a paper book kick. Obviously, I love my Kindle. I still use my Kindle a ton, but I've read like 200 books in the past two years and I didn't have any books to show for it. And there's a lot of books I want to reread. So that's just why I like having physical books. Go to Indigo, which you guys know I love. Indigo is like the Canadian Barnes and Noble. And hopefully I'll be able to actually vlog like talk to you guys a little bit more in there because it is well they usually have really loud music but it is a baker bookstore so i'm really excited we're gonna go there check some stuff out there i'm actually gonna buy a disney gift card while i'm there which is off topic but we are having some fun so far i feel like this is like the epitome of my aesthetic vlogs now is bookstore vlogs but i'm here for it and i hope you guys are too so let's go over to indigo and then i'm gonna get some lunch because i'm starving i love it because they always have like a trending section which is like a great place to start if you're new to reading but yeah, I love that they have this section. The one, I haven't read this one either. Which one's better? Let me know. Uh, I tried to get into it, you guys, and I just could not get into it. Some other books. Oh, what is this book? Also, in like this part, find some discounts. Like this book sounds really good and it's only $15. You guys wanted to read the back, so here you go. This sounds really good always have like discounts here so I've heard this book is supposed to be really amazing oh what's this this is supposed to be really really good this looks really cute of course most underrated Colleen Hoover book in the world and probably the best one to be honest. Someone's gonna come for me. Always come to see if they have Spanish love deception yet. They don't. I don't think. Armas. Armas. I always check because I want to read it again and I want a paper copy of it but I don't see it yet. The queen, the queen herself, really buy all of these books. 
guys not a ton of luck at indigo well not that i didn't have luck i just didn't need anything but i did get a bookmark because i don't have a bookmark and i fold my pages and i need to stop doing that so i just obviously got the frozen one because duh um they, they had like fun ones so i figured why not and then i also bought like a ton of disney gift cards and she was like oh, are you a disney person and i was like i am i am but that's that um i'm gonna go pick up some lunch now and head to my training it's only 256 but i'm just gonna waste some more time driving around but i will chat with you guys when we get home probably tomorrow with a big book haul and i'm so excited to show you guys hey guys okay it is the next morning and i wanted to give you guys a giant i have more books than this giant book haul today um this is probably collective from about christmas and yeah let's go through it i'm gonna try and organize these by like where i got them because i love sharing tips with you guys on how to get books like a bit less expensive so i'm gonna start with like the random ones and then we'll do the haul from book outlet because the deals i got on those books are amazing so first thing i got was verity by colleen hoover i knew that i wanted to get the actual book version of this and not read on my kindle because i knew i would love it i'm a big thriller person can definitely say i've actually read this already that i prefer colleen hoover as a thriller author than a romance author and i actually got this at walmart for 30 percent off so this book i did buy new when we were like getting groceries and it was like 14 dollars or something um white coat diaries i got this at marshall's actually it was on clearance for 4.99 so i thought it'd be kind of a bit of a funny little read so got this at marshall's the only book i've bought new since christmas is the made by nita pros i bought this at indigo i actually had some plum plus points to redeem and um, i got a bunch off facebook marketplace for five dollars each you guys facebook marketplace y'all need to check facebook marketplace because that is truly where you can get really good deals because a lot of people just buy a book once and then sell it so i'm really excited for this because i've heard such great reviews but yes quotient i'm so excited like i said i got this for five dollars on facebook marketplace and then I got these two also for $5 from like a different seller. Last Flight by Julie Clark. I've read this forever since it got turned into a show with Kaylee Kuko or whatever her name was. And then I also got this, which I never heard of, but she was just selling a bunch of books. And most of them I had read, but I hadn't heard anything about this book. And then I looked it up on Amazon and I was like, oh, this kind of sounds good. It's called Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Curlin. I don't know. It sounded kind of cool. Like when I include like the little summaries on these or not. I don't know. But if you guys have read any of these books, let me know how you guys liked them. I'm so curious. And then this stack from Book Outlet, which you guys, I got all these books for like 50 something dollars. Unfreaking real. Uh, unreal. And they always have sales like buy two, get one free. And they're already super discount, which is great. I can't believe it. They definitely don't always have like the newest, newest books, but a lot of these have been on my TBR and they had them. So I'm really excited. So first thing I got was The Wedding Date by Jasmine Girlery. I actually have this on my Kindle and I ended up deleting it by accident. And I was really sad about it. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. This just sounds super cute. Um, Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. Um, Little Secrets has been on my TBR for a really, really long time. Once again, Kind of like a, I'm pretty sure it's like her son was taken or something. It sounds really good. Uh, another Jasmine Guillory book, While We Were Dating. I've been wanting to read this for a long time. Like all these books have been on my TBR and I can't believe I got all of them for like 50 something dollars. It's unreal. Um, I'm so excited to read this. I love Fiona Davis. She writes really, really great books. I've read The Chelsea Girls and The Dollhouse already. And this is the masterpiece and it just like looks very Evelyn Hugo-esque and I'm so pumped to read it. Um, I've also been wanting to read this for a little bit. I was trying to get the sticker off but I couldn't and it was really bothering me. I Know Who You Are by Alison Feeney. This has also been on my TBR for the longest time. Definitely a good thriller. I can't believe I haven't read this book yet. You guys are going to be shocked. But I've never read The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hilder brand it has the big target sticker here which really bothers me but whatever last one which is gives me bridgerton steamy romance vibes i don't even know if it's steamy is the betrothed by kira cast so super excited about all these if you guys have read any of them or a lot of them let me know what you guys thought or like which one i should read first let me know which one i should read first because i'm super curious what you guys think i want to say a huge thank you for watching today's vlog let me know if you guys want more bookstore vlogs maybe i can film like a reading vlog or something let me know what you guys want to see once again thank you princess folly for sponsoring today's video and i'll talk to you guys next time bye